folks, Alvin. Uh, it's been a minute since we saw you, uh, after, since your fight against Josh. Uh, so how has life been since that, since your fight in Austin? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, back to work uh, as normal, you know, just back to the routine, training. Um, always nice to come out to these fight weeks and uh, take advantage of all, all fight we cast to offer without actually having to step in there and, and compete. So, um, yeah, happy to be out here. And your last fight was obviously a split decision loss. A lot of people even scored it for you. Was it? How long did it take for you to like maybe get over that or, or get back into camp knowing that it was such a hard fought win? You thought you did enough, and just the judges didn't see it your way. Yeah, it's tough, but you just got to take that motivation and uh, bring it into the gym day in day out. Um, even if I came off a win, I'd be trying to focus on the next guy anyway. But uh, definitely felt like I did enough to win that one. And say it, the um, meet and greet fan expo thing. It's I was kind of sick of hearing it from everybody too, you know. But um, it's good to, you know, understand that they saw it the way I did. I was gonna ask that, like, because while you were out there, how many fans did come up to you and say, like, <laughs> it was crazy. Honestly, it's I've thought of even taking a tally. That's how many. It's just like it's. I don't know. What are you gonna do? On to the next. And then your division has obviously kept moving on. Josh thought he had done enough for a title fight. You had the weird ending with Yair and Brian. So what do you make of what's happening in the division right now? Um, it's it's a little all over the place. Um, unfortunate the way that one went down, I think, for both guys. You know, I think they were started off pretty good. Um, I was excited to see that one finish the right way for whoever won it. but. Uh, now you got Josh sitting in the background. Um, yeah, it's just it's tough, man. I felt like you know a win over him might put me obviously one step closer. So trying to just do my part to stay ready. And um, I thought I did enough in that last one, and I feel like that would have put me in a good position to whatever's going to happen next. It's kind of at a weird standstill. So who knows what that next play is going to be? But um, all I could do now is just put all my energy into the next one, and uh, whoever that's going to be go make my case for why if I think I'm that guy it's then it's you know I, I, it's just a little bit of a bump in the road and I'm still going to get to where I need to be is there a name or date you want for your next fight I really never never care uh, about that stuff kind of like Tyson focus on all that I think I'm going to fight all these guys eventually I just don't know in what order so uh, just trying to be prepared for anybody and then the champion Volkanovski has made a note he wants to even go up to challenge for the lightweight belt Dana wasn't as Standoffish for as for an idea of an interim title fight between maybe Josh and Yair. Do you think that much should play into factor if Alex does want to go up and challenge for another belt? Uh, what was the last part of that question? Do you think they should add an interim title if Alex oh. does want to go up to challenge for the lightweight belt? Uh, I mean, I don't blame him for wanting to go up. I mean, he's done his thing to you know he's fought Max twice, now, uh, three times now. Jeez, um, you know, he's done what he had to do with most of the guys in this division. So. Uh, He's always just looking for the next challenge, and 55 seems like that could be the play. I don't blame him for that. As far as the interim, um, just adds more of a storyline for the you know for the champ to face the interim champ, things like that. You know, I think the UFC likes to you know take advantage of that when they can, and rather than leaving things at a standstill and kind of holding up the division. So 